Hello friends and welcome to the video tutorial of Marketplace Hyperlocal System for Magento 2. Now this is an add-on of Webkul Magento 2 Marketplace. Now it connects the customers with the local stores and also transforming the shopping experience of the customer. This module is very beneficial for sellers and the buyers. The seller can easily add the location where they can ship their products in a specified time and the customer can also enter the location and check the availability of the products and the sellers in that location. Seller and admin can add the location according to which their products will be displayed to the customer. The seller and the admin can also add shipping weight according to the location range by the help of CSV. Now let's come to the installation of this module. After you have downloaded the module from a store, you will be getting a zip folder. You have to extract the content of the zip folder on your system. Now the folder has an SRC folder. Click on the SRC folder, you will be getting the app folder. You have to upload the app folder into your Magento 2 root directory on the server and then you have to run the command on Magento 2 root directory which we have provided on the user guide. So for the better understanding about the workflow of the module and the installation, you can also refer to the user guide. Now let's move to the admin panel for the module configuration. Now this is my admin panel. So go to store and then configuration. Now here you will be getting hyper local marketplace. So click here. So now you can see the general settings so click here then you can enable or disable this module you have to enter your google api key and then you can set the heading for location pop-up window so whatever the heading you will provide here the same heading will display on the front end for the user now you can select the radius unit as mile or kilometer you can set the radius as 100 km you can set the default address from here if you want you can also change like like this and then you can see you have set the default address and then the latitude and longitude has also been filled and then you have to save the configuration now after saving the configuration you have to go to sales and then you have to go to shipping methods now under the shipping method you can see hyper local shipping so you can enable it for the checkout you can set the title and then you can also set yes or no for show method if not applicable so you can display other shipping method if this hyper local shipping is not available so you can also see the shipping configuration and now let's move to the other part of this module now you can go to marketplace management and then you can see hyper local in the hyper local you can see ship area and your ship rate so first we will see ship area now in the ship area you can enter your shipping area where you can ship your product so these are the already added shipping area by the seller and these are by the admin so you can select these shipping areas and from here you can either delete them or you can edit from here so like this you can edit your ship area information you can also add new ship area so you can click on this button and then from here you can add your new shipping area and then you can save now after saving you can see admin has added new york and this is your latitude and longitude now let's move to your ship rate now under hyper local shipping rate you can set your shipping rate for distance range and your weight range so i will click on add new ship rate now from here you can download the sample and then you can edit it and then you can browse from here so first I will download this sample. You can see that this is the CSV distance from distance to weight from weight to and the cost. 
and you can also enter the seller id and if you are adding the admin rate then you can remove this column so i can enter from here And then I can save and I can upload this now you can see I have browsed and I have uploaded the CSV and then I can save here now after uploading you can see the admin rate which has been uploaded here so now let's move to the seller panel now when you go to the front end then you can see a pop-up which will ask you to enter your location so I will enter my location like for example I have entered Los Angeles and then I will go to shop then you can see now you can see my location so now I can log in as a seller now this is my seller panel so you can see the hyper local and here you can see two sub menu add shipping area and ship rate so click on add shipping area so this is your ad shipping area so you, from here you can enter your location latitude and longitude and here you can see your shipping area list so from here you can delete in mass or you can delete one by one from here so i will enter my location like this and then i will save it and now you can see your shipping area has been saved now let's move to ship rate now again from here you can download your sample file and then you can edit it and then you can upload from here so this is my csv which i have downloaded from my seller panel so you can see i have entered my distance from distance to weight from weight to and the cost for each weight range and distance range and then i will save it and then i will upload it now i have browsed and uploaded it and now i will save now you can see the message your shipping rate has been successfully updated and you can see over here i have uploaded so now let's move to the customer panel now now you can see as i'm the customer so it is asking my location so i will enter my location and then I will click on go to shop so now you can see my location has been set so I can create a new customer account and then I can show you now you can see I have logged in so I will go to my category and then I can see the product which are assigned or which belongs to the location selected by me so this product are available on my location so i will click this product for example so you can see this blue coat is available in los angeles california usa so i will click on add to cart now you can see the shopping cart so now i will proceed on checkout now this is my checkout page so you can select the shipping address from here or you can add your new shipping address and then based on this you can get your hyper local shipping rate so i can select this and i will click on next now this is your payment and review so you can select the payment method and this is your billing and shipping address and then you can see your shipping address your shipping method your order summary and then you can place the order so now the order has been placed and over here you can view the order history so you can see the shipping method so this is all about this particular module if you have any doubt regarding this module you can raise a support ticket supported webcool.com thank you very much for watching this video tutorial